Kiora, I'm Josh Witten. I'd like to start by telling you about uh, one of the single most transformative experiences of my life. It happened 10 years ago. And it was the moment when I decided to learn how to make soil. So what I did was I got some pallets together that had been left somewhere in the city and I nailed them together. And I put my food waste in there, which wasn't much, just a single guy, and I realized I would need a lot more. So I went door to door, knocked on my neighbor's doors and said, would you help me? I need your food waste. And they say, you know, the stuff I put in the garbage? I say, yeah, but it, apparently it's not garbage. Like what, I'm, what I'm reading out there is it can turn back into living soil. And within a few weeks, I had about a dozen of my neighbors bringing their food waste to this humble little bin. And what happened next is it, what happened next blew our minds, really. It turns out that what we had considered garbage and trash was quickly revealing itself to us to be the living planet itself. And we watched before our eyes as all the stuff that we've been putting in the garbage for our entire lives up to that point turned into jet black nourishing soil. And watching that process didn't just blow our minds, it changed our behavior. There were people there who suddenly said, I can't believe my parents have been, they're still throwing their food in the garbage. I've got to go build a compost bin for them. The students who participated said, we have to get our university cafeteria composting all of its food waste. So I wonder what's happening to it. They lobbied the student government. They made changes on campus. Three of the guys, three of my neighbors, when I checked in two years later, they had started what is now one of America's largest composting pickup services. People changed what they did with the rest of their lives from this simple, humble experience. And it's taken me 10 years to really reflect on it and think, why was that simple act so powerful? I think one unusual thing is I put this bin in a really public place, in the front yard where my neighbors could all see it. And then I didn't guilt them into trying to change their behavior. I didn't say, hey, stop wrecking the planet. I said, I need your help. I need your help making soil. And then I took care of almost everything else. I didn't realize it at the time, but I was modeling a new, what I believe is a new role in our society, or an old role that needs to scale, and that was I became the neighborhood soil maker. All I really asked them to do was to bring their food waste, dig it into the heap, sprinkle some leaves on it. And that was enough. That was enough participation for them to get what was going on. And we made soil out of everything. Meat, grease, bones, greasy pizza boxes, blue jeans. I mean, there wasn't anything just about that a microbe couldn't turn back into the living planet itself. The other reason this was so powerful is because it completed a feedback loop. So many of us here, we're so educated. We've got degrees. We've got experiences. What we don't have are a lot of complete feedback loops of what it means to live on a living planet. We live in a box and bin culture. We click a button on the internet, a box shows up on a doorstep, we play with it for a while or it breaks, and then we throw it in a bin and somebody takes it away. And no matter how smart we are, without complete feedback loops, it's not dawning on us that the products we're consuming are made out of the planet itself. They consume the planet. We don't see that the planet is again consumed to make space for the landfills. But if you can complete feedback loops in our environment, in our mind, our mind updates automatically. We change our behavior. The more I reflected on it, the more I realized that this was the only regenerative act we had actually ever witnessed, let alone participated in. Recycling doesn't do it. Driving an electric car doesn't do it. That stuff is great, but that's just damage control. But taking our food waste and watching it turn back into living soil was a truly regenerative act. For many of us, it became a sacred act. The, the bin itself became like an altar, and the food waste we brought became our offering. And what happened next became very sacred to us. When we touched the living soil, the microbes in the soil spoke to us. And what did they say? They just said, I'm alive. And we began to realize the whole planet is alive. That does wonders for depression. You realize you are truly not alone. I would say ultimately, it, all of this came together and shifted our consciousness, gave us a new type of consciousness, gave us the ability 
to see that the planet was alive. And then we no longer needed to be chased around with charts and graphs and scary statistics. We could tell the planet was alive and we simply wanted to be kind to it. That was 10 years ago. I've just finished one entrepreneurial journey and I've been looking for the next. And when I look around at the situation today, I see we have a carbon problem. There's a lot of carbon in the air, belongs in the ground. We have nutrient loss. Every week you go to the grocery store, the food is less nutritious than the week you went there before. It's a topsoil crisis. The UN says in 60 years we won't have any farming left because the whole system will have destabilized so much from topsoil loss. We have mental health issues. I'm tired of going. Every city I visit, if I turn down the wrong alley, I find people sleeping on the street, rocking back and forth in some kind of personal hell. That's got to stop. And what about this economy? We keep talking about a regenerative economy. Right now, the economy, 99.9% .9 of it destroys the planet. It makes a lot of fun stuff, I know, but it's not good for the planet. Where's the regenerative economy? I can't even find a single regenerative job yet. So in general, I think the human race has become rather disempowered and afraid. We've got to have a tangible step that we can actually take together. And when I look for that, I think back to when I was making soil with my neighbors. If enough of us get together and make soil together, we can draw that carbon back down out of the atmosphere. Currently, nearly 2 billion tons of food waste rots in landfills or on the ground, releasing methane, which is even worse, greenhouse gas, putting that CO2 in the air. We make soil together, we put the topsoil back together, we make, it literally turns into topsoil, folks. You watch it, the missing topsoil, it's your food waste. It turns back into soil. The nutrients go back in the ground. We build community around that activity that heals the mind and it creates a new livelihood for us. One of the first regenerative jobs that can go mainstream. Real briefly here, I want to talk about rights of nature. It's beautiful, the river and the mountain, but they're getting personhood. But the, the, the nature that each of us comes into contact each day, it's on our plates. What about the rights of nature on your plate? When we take that food waste and put it in the garbage, we are literally treating the planet like garbage, and that's got to stop. It undermines everything else we're trying to do if we're personally treating the planet like garbage. And if you reverse that, if you make soil out of that, yourself and with your neighbors, it will go on to support all the beautiful work that all of you are trying to do, I promise. So I am literally suggesting that millions of us make soil together. Millions of people get together to do all kinds of things. They get together to watch sports and drink beer. Why can't they get together to make soil too? I believe it can happen. We know that technology can change our behavior drastically and get hundreds of millions of people to adopt new lifestyles and new behaviors, and that's what MakeSoil.org is all about. Right there, we help people step into the new identity of being a soil maker, where you can make soil with your neighbors. It is a decentralized approach, not because it involves a blockchain, because it involves you. It involves all of us making soil together. And why wouldn't it be a decentralized solution? Because it's a decentralized problem. The problem is us, folks, and the way we're living. The solution is us and changing that. We've just been missing a few ingredients to change our behavior, but we can We've brought all those ingredients together at makesoil.org. So, no more vague action steps. We're offering a clear action step. Become a soil maker or find one near you. Soil making is our unique contribution. No other animal can make soil the way that we can. We're currently the single most destructive animal on the planet. We could be the single most regenerative. We've just been missing a few ingredients and we're gonna bring that together on this platform. So, in closing, Stop waiting for government to fix our problems. Stop waiting for science or some new invention to save us. No more wondering what to do, how to do it, or who's going to do it. Let's make soil together. Thank you.